We all know that some famous people are rich. They're millionaires. I'm a dollar heir. We're not the same, some might say. But there is another league of celebrities, the billionaires. As I checked out how much money famous people have, I was surprised to find celebs who are way richer than we even thought. Some I never expected to be so loaded. So let's explore the stories of the secret billionaires in the flashy world of fame. Starting with Steven Spielberg, $4 billion. Despite being one of the most well-known Hollywood directors of all time, Steven Spielberg takes quite a different strategy to generating revenue. There's a solid reason why he's the only billionaire on our list who describes himself as a gambler. He has not paid for the movies he directs. Yes, that sounds absurd. Rather than working for a salary, he strikes deals with movie studios. He gets paid a part of the revenues in exchange for them funding the films without paying him. That would be a major risk for most directors, but for Steven Spielberg, it's more of a sure thing. His films have been bringing in hundreds of millions of dollars annually for decades. The cumulative anticipated box office receipts for all of his productions amount to a staggering $10 billion. Jurassic Park, which made an astounding $1.04 billion worldwide, is still in the top slot. E.T., Spielberg's second highest earning picture with little less than $793 million, comes in second. However, what is his own profit margin from those sales? For his work on Jurassic Park, Spielberg is said to have earned a record-breaking $250 million back in 1993. Even if the record has since been surpassed, this is still a really remarkable accomplishment. Still, he makes his money from directing more than just blockbusters. Because Universal theme parks incorporate the Indiana Jones theme, he also receives a share of each and every ticket sold there. That has made a substantial contribution to his $4 billion net worth. Despite having a sizable fortune, Spielberg is not the wealthiest celebrity in our ranking. Kim Kardashian, $1.2 billion. Kim's money account increased by $7.5 million with every season of the show. Even if that's a huge paycheck, it won't turn someone into a billionaire. Kim had to use her celebrity wisely for that, and she succeeded. She has obviously made a fortune from endorsement deals, selling everything from lollipops to diet pills, just like any well-known celebrity. It's possible that she chose to launch her own company, since not all of them were commercial hits. She founded KKW Beauty in 2019 and quickly sold Cody 20% of the company for an incredible $200 million. After that, the company closed and was replaced by the upscale Skin by Kim skincare line. However, her shapewear brand, Skims, is really increasing her net worth. It was estimated to be worth an astounding $3.2 billion last year. She made a lot of money from unusual things like special perfumes and a game for phones well before that. The game, called Kim Kardashian Hollywood, earned an incredible $1.6 million in its first five days. Kim enjoys giving her fans what she knows they like, and that's why her products make a ton of money each time. Right now, people think she's worth $1.2 billion, and that number keeps going up. Tyler Perry, $1 billion. Tyler Perry is an American actor, writer, director, dramatist, and producer who rose to popularity in a rather peculiar way. You could say, in a sense, that he required only one brilliant idea. Perry's character, Mabel Medea Simmons, became so well known that she was given her own movie franchise, which was directed by him. He frequently played multiple roles in the movies in addition to writing, directing, and producing them. That implies that he was making a lot more money than if he had only directed or played the lead. However, the Medea movies are insufficient to bring in a billion dollars by themselves. Rather, Perry was astute enough to put the money he was making from those films toward other endeavors. Tyler Perry Studios is his own entertainment firm that he founded. He also has a $150 million annual deal with Viacom CBS. However, you might be shocked to hear that his creative responsibilities and projects account for the majority of his net worth. He has directed an astounding 1,000 TV episodes since he began his career in Hollywood. Many of them were for his own shows. As if that weren't enough, he has produced every play he has written and directed since the early 1990s, in addition to writing and directing about 50 plays. 
He seems to really like the good life. He has houses in Los Angeles, New York, Atlanta, and Wyoming. When Prince Harry and Meghan Markle moved to the United States, he let them stay in one of his homes. Plus, he has two private planes. I guess creating a big film business pays off. Tyler Perry has fans all around the world. Peter Jackson, $1.5 billion. As everyone has seen, Peter Jackson is the man responsible for the continued popularity of fantasy movies. Both The Hobbit films and The Lord of the Rings trilogy achieved global popularity, with the latter being one of the highest grossing film series of all time, with worldwide earnings of just under $3 billion. Despite earning millions of dollars from his films, he wasn't expected to make the list of billionaires until 2022. How did he then succeed? Well, Jackson had long since completed this laborious task. Ask. Jackson had a certain vision in mind for the 1993 movie Heavenly Creatures. Rather than looking for someone to do it for him, he founded Weta Digital, a digital effects firm. He continued to run the corporation now that he possessed all of its assets. It has won an incredible seven Oscars for best visual effects thus far. That obviously includes the Lord of the Rings movies, but they were also recognized for their innovative work in making Avatar the highest grossing movie ever. The business needed to develop special software in order to provide all those incredible effects. Herein lies the significance of Jackson's recent billion-dollar net fortune. For an astounding $1.6 billion, Weta sold those tech assets to Unity Technologies, the company that makes video games, in 2021. Jackson gained a staggering $600 million in cash as well as $375 million in company stock as a result of the purchase, since he and his business partner owned a combined 60% of the company. With all of that added to his decades-long career as a blockbuster director, his estimated net worth is now $1.5 billion. Feel that's the best available option? You're not correct. As a matter of truth, Jackson's not even close to having half a billion dollars as this sports celebrity. However, who is it? Now it's Rihanna, $1.4 billion. The musician born in Barbados. Despite being only 35 years old, Rihanna's made more of an effect on the music industry than most people can in their lifetime. Her smash song Umbrella, which peaked at the top of the charts in 17 countries and became one of the most played songs of the decade, helped her win her first Grammy in 2007. Her collection of honors has continued to expand since then. She's nominated for an Academy Award, has nine Grammys, 13 AMAs, including the Icon Award, and 12 Billboard Music Awards. Not only that, but also add the six Guinness World Records she has, the majority of which have to do with the quantity of singles sold. She also made history last year when she was the first pregnant performer to open a Super Bowl halftime show. She is capable of doing anything, even becoming wealthy beyond a billion dollars. Of course, it's not all due to her music. Like any well-known celebrity, she has signed a few lucrative brand endorsement contracts. She appears primarily to wear high-end labels like Louis Vuitton, Dior, and Gucci. However, the majority of her fortune is derived from her premium brands. She actually owns not one, but two billion-dollar brands. Her cosmetics brand, Fenty Beauty, was the first. Although the partnership with luxury goods manufacturer LVMH was well-liked from the beginning, analysts claim that last year saw a doubling of its revenue. At least 30% of Fenty's high-end lingerie line, Savage by Fenty, is owned by Rihanna, whose estimated worth is $3 billion. When everything's taken into account, Forbes estimates her net worth to be an astounding $1.4 billion, and it only goes to demonstrate how profitable it can be to have your own brand. So that's it for today. If you liked the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel for more great videos.